Hey guys, welcome back to the bathroom. Now, I'm just going to start doing more of my beauty related things in the bathroom just because it has great lighting, um, especially during nighttime, because it is like nine o'clock at night and I'm about to go to work. Um, I just wanted to try out a foundation I picked up from um, Marshalls actually, because now I love my budget shopping. Now, I did get this for $10, and what is it? It is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. Claims it's 24 hour full coverage, natural matte finish, good for skin formula, transfer resistant, and flashback proof. Dermatologist tested, oil free, a bunch of non stuff that I wouldn't know what that is because I'm not um, knowledgeable in the skincare department. Now, I did pick it up in Honeycomb. It looks like there's a whole bunch of different shades of beige and tan. So I just tried to grab one of them and I got honeycomb. So we'll see if this even matches. Um, might be too light, might be too dark. I'm really not tan as much right now. Haven't been outside too long. Um, so this is it. It does kind of look a little yellow, a little light, but it looks nice. And it has a pump. I know there was another version of their foundation and it didn't have a pump and it looked messy because people were trying it in the store. I'm going to try it on the back of my hand real quick. Is there a safety? Hold on. Okay, yeah, so you can lock it. That's cool. Okay, took a couple of pumps. That's what the color looks like on my skin. I'm just going to take a clean brush and buff it into my hand. And for my hand swatch, doesn't look bad. So, let's try it on my face. Now, I normally don't wear foundation, but I wanted to give this a try. I just want to see if it like looks good on my skin. I normally don't wear anything but concealer, eyeshadow, lips, stuff like that. Maybe some blush here and there. But um, I really haven't been taking care of my skin too much, and I haven't really been uh, taking care of myself, really. I used to love doing my makeup. It was just a form of expression, things I can, you know, do to control, like, how I look. That was fun. Um, but I haven't really done it lately, so I'm excited to get back on the makeup train. Uh, I think I'm going to start doing some of these beauty subscription boxes. I currently subscribe myself to Ipsy, so as soon as they send me out a bag, I will start doing those until I hate it. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about this beautiful thing here. I was wondering if I should do a brush or a little sponge here. Sponge looks a little dirty, but I just cleaned it. It is the Shop AOA. You know what? I'm going to try the sponge. I don't really do sponge too much. I'm going to wet it a little bit to get it to poof up. I usually like the brush. The brush is just much easier to control, but people say the sponge looks much better. So we'll try the sponge with this foundation and I'll go to work and hopefully I remember to do a after work video of what it looks like after. Now, I can't really see anything right now, so I'm going to have to grab a mirror. I'm nearsighted, but not that nearsighted. I have astigmatism, so that makes it worse. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and start on... Um, let's see. What's, what's not going to get people <laughs> mad at me? for using it. Okay, we'll just use it directly on the sponge. Do a few pumps. The sponge is going to probably soak up a lot of it. Okay, and I don't want to put too much. I'm going to pull up the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And start blending and see <laughs> what this color looks like on me. I could have completely got the wrong color. It doesn't look too bad on the hand, but it is a bit yellow and I feel like I have more red undertones maybe, or pink undertones I guess. 
but we'll see. This is the final look. That's what I came up with. This is with the foundation on. Ooh, ooh. Doesn't look bad at all. It definitely is matte. It definitely isn't dewy or anything. My face looks matte. Feels matte. Um, I just added a little bit of blush. I didn't actually do the extra concealer. I am in a rush. I gotta go. But I like the look of it. It looks nice. Matches my neck and chest. So I think we have a match there. And that's honeycomb. I actually didn't think it would work. We'll see what happens if I do get a tan. Um, just to add a little information also. It does have like the methicone in it. I know some people have the allergy. Here are the ingredients. And it doesn't say it's cruelty free on the box. Who knows? I don't know. But finish it off with a little lip from Too Faced. It's this little one here in Wham. Another, I think it was a TG Max Fine or something. One of my favorite lips. So moisturizing, so pretty. If I add a second coat, it's gorgeous. But I'm about to go work my butt off and come back home, do an interview. I finally got, you know, some interviews coming. So we'll see what happens with my life. But there it is. We'll come back after I work and we'll see how busted I look. I may even put my hair back in a ponytail because it might get hot. So I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to try not to be late. And I'll see you guys later. Welcome back to the after results. So this is after eight hours of work and about an hour of driving. Um, here we go. Don't mind the hair because it's a mess anyways. I'm going to take a nap and eventually sleep. But this is the foundation. I feel like it is very comfortable. Um, it was matte finish. So it did kind of look a little dry on me, like around like the nose area, just because I get dry around there a lot. Um, but not too bad. I feel like it blended in really nicely, and over time, it just, I don't know, made my skin look good. So, yeah, I, I actually like it. Um, now, is it transfer proof? I don't, I don't know if, um... It's 100% transfer proof. You know what, let me get a cotton pad real quick. So, a white cotton pad. Huh. Transfer proof? No. <laughs> Do not trust it. Yeah, that's, that's coming off on someone's nice white t-shirt on a nice date or something. Nuh-uh, don't do it. Um, other than that, it just feels good on the skin. Uh, my pimple right here, let me, I'm gonna, Closer look at that. Pump right here didn't get bigger due to the foundation, so that's good. Um, I really like it. I'm going to def definitely keep trying it out since I have a whole thing of it. Um, I don't think there's anything else to say. It's the Bare Minerals Foundation and Honeycomb. Somehow matched my skin well. Don't know how. <laughs> Just my look, I guess. Uh, wait until I get a tan, though. We'll see about that. Well, thank you guys for watching. I know it's kind of a messy video, but, you know, I'm messy. I'm not perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, took something from it, and I hope you guys have a great day.